Welcome back. Yes, it is the season of love, but uh, it's the parenting segment. So how exactly does this all tie together? When, as a parent, did you actually love on yourself just a little? When did you show yourself some love as a parent? Yes, you're a mom, you're a dad, but uh, there are some times when you just realize you've probably just neglected to take care of yourself. We're going to be talking a bit about that today with Mudukwe Einla. Now, she is the founder of I Mom Zone. It's focused on mothers, specifically for first-time pregnant moms and, of course, new toddler moms. And today we're talking about self-love and why you need it. Welcome back to the Thank show. Thank you for having me. Thank All you. right. So, honestly, um, self-love and selfishness. <laughs> <laughs> that's the guilt talking yeah that it does feel like the guilt yeah. talking um loving on yourself doesn't exactly mean um you know okay i, I don't want to go into the physical aspects of love uh but i'm talking about the fact that some people don't even know how to show love to themselves and mm. they expect to be able to know how to show love, love to others to others mm. as a parent why is this important well, it's really important for us to show love to ourselves because you can't give what you don't have. It's important that you don't run on empty. Mm -hmm. You give and give and give and give to everyone around you, your kids, your family members, your friends, mm -hmm. and even people you don't know. You, give, you show love to them, you give them love, and yet your own cup, you're mm -hmm. not trying to refill that cup. Mm -hmm. You're not trying to show love to yourself. So are you even sure that you are giving the right love to mm. these people? Mm. It does feel like there's, a, there's, there's time constraints. Mm. You're up early. Mm. Uh, school runs are mm. there. You finally get to the office. Your mm. boss is stressing you. Mm. You finally get home. You have to cook. Mm. Homework. Uh, then hobby comes home. Uh, or wifey comes home. Yes. And then, you know, there's supposed to be maybe <laughs> one or two conversations where you're not arguing about the bills. When do you think we should find time so for self-love? The thing is, to some people, self-love is, oh, me taking myself out, leaving everyone. But self-love is in the little things. Okay. It doesn't have to be. It's just a, you just have to set small self-care goals for yourself. Okay. It doesn't have to be something. It could be just you taking, deciding to go to bed earlier than usual. Okay. One hour before time, mm -hmm. I need to just be on my bed, just me, without your phone. Mm. without social media okay. and just reflecting and thinking about it. It could just be you waking up early in the morning mm. and be like, today is going to be a good day. Okay. It's in the small, smaller mm. things that you do. It's in the minute things that you do. It doesn't have to be the big taking yeah. three days off and all that. I'm, mm. I'm going to touch on that lady that's watching right now. I want mm. it to be the big thing. Mm. What are some big things I can do? Because if I am going to take out time at all to show myself self-love, I feel like it should be worth it. Mm. Do you have any suggestions for any ladies out there? You can mm. take your, yourself out. You can have what? a cheat day. Hmm. Where, I mean, where, where, where <laughs> we go out we'll for ice cream and just eat all the ice cream. You on can my have own. ice cream and just be yourself <laughs> and have fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it could just be you dancing to your favorite music. Okay. It could be you listening to an audio book. Mm. Just something you've always wanted to do for yourself. Okay. And to me, that's really, really important. When you love yourself, you'll be able to circulate that love onto every other person around you. They would feel the love. It would overflow to them. And that's love. So is this a periodic thing? Is this once a month? Is it once a quarter? Is it once a week? How often do you think we it should It depends on your time? circumstances. Okay. You need to look at yourself and be like, okay, can I do this once a month? Mm. If it's once a month, then you need to be intentional about it. Okay. So... The last Sunday of the month, mm. it's for me mm. and myself and mm. I. Mm. No one else, just me. Okay. And trust me, you're not being selfish. Mm. You're just having fun and taking care of yourself so that you'll be able to take care of others. So um, for some, they're overwhelmed with chores and duties. And on a Sunday, for instance, maybe they've gone to church, they came back, they cooked Sunday lunch, mm. then they're trying to prepare the school uniforms for Monday morning. They're not, you know, finding that time. So are you mm. saying on a Sunday morning, for instance, mm. they'll decide, you know what, I'm not cooking today. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. We're eating That's out. <laughs> We're eating out, right? Yes. Okay. We're eating out. You don't have to cook for mm. crying out loud. Mm -hmm. We're eating out. Okay, everyone, put on your clothes. Let's go. Okay. We're eating out today. One of the best restaurants. It's you mm. taking care of yourself while taking care of others. 
I want to touch on couples now. Um, so, for instance, a lot of people don't realize that they've not loved on themselves in a while. Like, for mm. instance, myself, I know that uh, there have been occasions where uh, my husband will come and say, you should go out or you should do this. And I'm like, I no. mean, it's too expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why, why would I spend that money? <laughs> why would I do this? Why would I do that? But in the end, I realized he was just trying to, you know, give me a few moments to love on myself. Yes. But I didn't see it as necessary. So how do you think couples can work on that together? So for me, I would say that if your wife is not ready to take herself out, take mm. her out. Okay. Push her out if you have to. Mm. You can have a surprise dinner. Like, babe, put on your shoes, I'm taking you out. Okay. And the wife can say, babe, let's go out. I'm not making dinner tonight. I'm mm -hmm. taking you out. Okay. It doesn't have to be the man taking you out all the time. Mm. You can decide to do that. But he so. can still pay, sure. Of course. <laughs> I mean, he's allowed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Um, so now, why is it important for the kids to see parents love on themselves? Because you're their first teacher. They learn from you. They're learning how to love themselves by watching you. So it's what they see that they would emulate. If they see a bitter mommy, they would emulate a bitter mommy. If they see a bitter parent, they would emulate a bitter parent. So it's really important that these kids see that moms, dads love themselves so well mm -hmm. that I can also... In the morning, when they see... The, for, for example, I wake up in the morning, sometimes I'll be like, oh, today is such a good day. Mm -hmm. I can feel it. Mm -hmm. My son would say, yes, mommy, it's going to be a good day. Mm -hmm. I can feel it too. You know, mm -hmm. those things, they emulate. They're watching you. Okay. And they will definitely do what you do. Mm -hmm. so, and if you wake up and show some anger mm -hmm. or frustration... Trust me, everyone. they'll take you to school. Mm -hmm. They'll take that anger to school. They'll be like, oh, mommy's not feeling too good today. Mommy mm -hmm. acted a certain way today. Mm -hmm. And it will radiate. They would take that out. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now... Um, there is that uh, place of uh, being entitled um, that a lot of people end up feeling like, you know, okay, so there are probably couples where it's, it's already imbalanced. There's one person always lo loving on themselves and the other doesn't really, you know, um, do so. Do you mm. think it's important um, that there's a balance, especially with regards to kids? Mm. You see, this couple self-love mm. thing... Mm. I usually say that it's not every time you bring 50, your spouse would also bring 50. Sometimes it's 70. Okay. And sometimes it's 30. And it's up to you to make it up and bring the remaining 70 to make up for the 100%. Mm -hmm. So you have to always be there for each other. When one person is down, you have to be the bigger person and step in. Mm -hmm. So it's not a 50-50 team. Sometimes it could be 80-20, 90-10, 70-30. Okay. Right. And that's how it works. You know, there is so much that we can do to talk about this topic, but yeah. it is really tailored to you and your environment. Uh, you know, it's not a one-size-fits-all kind mm -hmm. of thing, and uh, I'm really glad we were able to talk about this yeah. today. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you for having me.